In this video guide, we'll be creating a new form for lead capture. We'll be adding a, a logo, adding two headers, and we'll be adding four fields that we'll be capturing. First name, last name, company, email, and we'll be capturing a business card. So essentially this will be a photo that can be captured on the iPad or the iPhone and then pushed into, um, into Salesforce. So the form will be looking something like this in the end. So we'll have a number of field elements that we'll just drag and drop uh, to create the form and then connect it to the lead object in Salesforce. So to begin, we'll go to our dashboard. And we'll start by clicking the new form. We'll rename it to offline lead capture. and add at least one page, say so details. So we'll start with media, we'll add the logo. And we'll reduce the size to 40% and we can rename the label to logo. And we can center. So we'll leave the logo. Uh, now we will add a header to say contact details and we'll center this as well and we'll make it slightly smaller to an h tree and now we'll add the contact fields so it'll be first name last name. We can make these required but for our scenario we can either capture these fields or we'll be, be able to capture uh, a business card. So we want to leave these um, not required. The next will be the company name and the last field will be email. So when this is done, we'll add a new header. This will say business card. Again, we'll center, make this a header three and confirm. And now we need to add the last field and it will be a photo field. And we'll say business card photo. Uh, we can add a few details here. For example, we can say that we want to save this to our device library. iPhone or iPad will be saved to the device library for if you want to use it uh, for email, etc. Um, best is to keep the quality low to reduce the size, um, especially if you're attaching a PDF uh, to Salesforce. Okay, so that's all done on the form, so we can save and close. Next we need to add a Salesforce connection. So under the connections column, um, we can click add. And here we can create a new Salesforce connection. So we select Salesforce and click create connection. and we want to link this to the lead object in Salesforce. Click Save. Insert sequence, um, we can leave this empty. So this is if you have multiple connections. Let's say if you're creating an account, contact, and opportunity, you want to specify in what order these records are created in Salesforce. Uh, you can select if you want to push updates, and this will allow you to make changes to the existing form entries that are captured on the mobile applications and the updates will be pushed to Salesforce. And you can attach a PDF version of the uh, mobile form uh, to the Salesforce record as well. So we can enable that. Um, we'll leave these other options as default and we'll click Save. Before we map the formula fields to the Salesforce objects fields, we actually need to create 
uh, two fields in Salesforce to display the image. So if we go to lead fields and if we create a new field, and we'll go to the type URL. And we'll call this photo URL. So essentially we'll be recording the uh, URL of the captured business card and we'll be then using a formula field to display it in Salesforce. So this will be the field that they'll be holding the URL. So click next. Uh, you can change the visibility but you can keep the default Salesforce profile settings. Click next. Uh, we don't want to display this on the page layout um, because it's just a URL. If you want to keep just the URL of the image, you can do that as well. But for this um, demo purpose, we want to actually display the image. So we'll just keep the link hidden. We'll click Save and New. And the next field will be a formula field. And this will be the actual um, photo. And will be a type text formula. And next, um, I'll just copy and paste the, an existing formula. Um, but essentially, what we're doing is we're taking the photo URL and we're using the image function in the Salesforce formula. And we're checking if the photo URL is blank. So if it's not blank, we'll use the image function, uh, take the photo URL, and display it. Um, on the record detail page. So when this is done, click next. Again, we will we'll keep this as default, but you can uh, change these as per your organization. Click next. And we want to keep this on the page layout because it will be actually displaying the image. Click save. Now that these fields are created on Salesforce, we can go back to the formula connections page and map the fields back to Salesforce. So as uh, so we created a few fields um, for the new lead, so it's the first name. So we'll map it to the first name. We'll take the last name from the formula form and map it to the last name on the lead object. We'll take the company name and map it to the company. And we'll take the email and map it to the email field on the lead object. Just fields. And if we scroll down, as we can see the photo URL field down, and we just make sure we need to map it to the business card footer. So that's done. So we mapped all the fields here. So now we can test the form. So if I go to uh, formula.com slash mobile, or if I navigate back to the dashboard and click the try button, it will take me to the Formula mobile web app. If I refresh this, and I should see the new offline lead capture form appear. So if I click on that, I can see all the fields here. And let me just fill in this form. and attach an image. So okay, now that this is done, we can submit. So we can see the entry here. And if we navigate back to Salesforce and go to home, we can see the new lead has been created on Salesforce. So we can see name, company, and email, and the photo has been attached to Salesforce. And we can see that the PDF has been attached as well.